Alright, hi guys, this is Pokemon recording another FIBA. Uh, this game is going to be a TVZ on Destination. And now I am going to show you the Fantasy build, which is a Mech Terran vs. Zerg build that is really strong. It's basically what you do, the general idea is you go for a Vulture drop and then get your expansion and go for a strong push with upgrades, tanks, and goliaths in the mid game and then take a third base and keep massing up units. So anyways, this for this build it's pretty essential that you know how to make a zergling proof wall in. On a lot of maps it's not popular, or I mean it's not possible. Uh, Destination is one of the best maps for it. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't think any of the tourney maps can make a perfect wall in. You don't have to have a perfect wall in, but it's a lot safer. And you'll just have to be prepared to use your SEVs to block your ramp and make some marines. Rather than what I do in this game, which is make no, or maybe one marine. I always make one marine at most when I wall in for this build. Um, so yeah, make sure, so start off with a wall, supply on 9, br barracks on 11 as usual. Since I my supply was a little late, uh, so I made my gas at 11 to compensate. Just don't worry about it too much. Uh, his scouting drone gets into my base. He scouted pretty early because on destination it's common to proxy a barracks for some early uh, marine harass and make a bunker and hope to get lucky. Um, so I'm just chasing his scout. You don't... Uh, if Zerg scout gets in your base... You want to kick him out before you build your starport for your vulture drop. Because once he sees that, he'll be able to prepare very easily. As He, he already knows I'm going mech because he sees my gas. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, if he sees your starport, he'll know. He's, he'll either expect wraiths or, uh, wraiths or the dropship. Uh, so you make a factory. When you make your factory, you take one SCV off gas in, uh, the... Terran vs. Pluridust builds, you sometimes take two off, depending on the build. Unless you want to take one off gas and put it back on when you start your your uh, expansion command center, which you will see eventually. So yeah, I managed to kill the scout really by luck with that SCV. Scouting his base using the supply hop trick I demonstrated in my Terran vs. Pluridust uh, VOD that I've recorded already. So I see the standard uh, three hatcheries. And then gas will be coming up very soon after the he makes some zerglings. Uh, this is pretty standard against any Terran build. Uh, against mech, you generally want to go for hydralis first because mutalis take too long to come out. So I'm once my factory finishes, I'm making a starport. Uh, and when my first vulture is done, I will make a machine shop. I'll make a vulture right when my effect three finishes and then I'll make a machine shop. Uh, I will also construct my expansion around the time I make my machine shop. And it's really crucial that you get your expansion like around this time or else it will throw off the timing of your whole build because you'll need to supply earlier and your machine shop will be done earlier in comparison and you'll have a lot of stuff to make. So even if you have a cut production, try to get your command center right after your machine shop without making anything in between. Uh, right after the command center you want to get a supply depot. You'll get stuck on supply for a little bit in this build, but uh, it's pretty essential because that'll it allows you to get that expansion up as soon as possible. So yeah, when your starport's done, making a control tower right away. Um, you can try to harass with the vulture a little bit. It's a good idea. Um, you know, kill some zerglings, survive a bit. Um, yeah, so try not to lose so, that yeah. vulture. Because so, if you lose the vulture, you won't have the vultures you need for your drop. Around 28 supply while your third vulture is building, or second or third around then, you're going to want to start your army so you can get goliaths right away after four vultures. Um, make your drop ship about when you're around, while your third vulture is building and it'll come out around the time as your fourth vulture. Uh, he's just coming out with lanes trying to do whatever he can. Uh, so yeah, make sure you keep your vultures alive. Uh, you get mines, by the way, when your machine shop finishes. This is so you can, you know, survive in case he goes for a fast hydralisk break. His overlords will be slow, so he won't be able to get 
to it. Oh, I accidentally made two armories, by the way, if you didn't notice. that You don't want to make two armories. Two armories don't, doesn't help you at all at this point in the game. Uh, that was a mistake, which is why I cancelled the other one. So my four vultures are ready. I'm planting a couple mines outside his choke, since he, he doesn't really seem like he's going for any early aggression since I saw a three hatch build. Uh, I'm getting Goliath range in case he goes for a Mulus tech switch, which is pretty common because Mulus are pretty strong against Goliaths until you get a good big mass of Goliaths, which is why you need to, your starport also for Valkyries. Valkyries, if you thought they were a joke unit and that they were never good in competitive play, you were mistaken. They're actually pretty good. Um, yeah, with this drop, you want to kill as many drones as possible. Obviously, it's not possible every time. Like, this time, I don't kill very many, if any, drones. But really, the point of this drop is also to keep them from mass expanding. Because mech used to be popular for a little while, but then people started figuring out that all you need to do is make a ton of expansions before the Charon got a decent amount of units, and you'd be able to crush him easily. This drop is basically to prevent him from over... You from overdoing his economy and make some units just so he can hold off this drop and any other harass you might do uh, in the game. So I'm just flying around his base making him focus on something else, trying to look for openings. Uh, it's not really huge. You're a little bit behind if your harass doesn't really do any damage, but it's not a huge deal. I mean, you can't lose, you won't lose the game. This guy is pretty used to playing against this build. So he knows sort of what I'm doing, because it's a pretty standard build nowadays. Um, so I see that he's moving out with a couple Hydras, and I am going to... I'm killing this Overlord in my base. Uh, I'm gonna ma get Siege Mode and make a tank. I scouted a, a Spire, well, a Lair and a Spire, with uh, my, 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 my Valkyrie. So, uh, I mean, my dropship, so I made a Valkyrie because of that. Yeah, let's see if I can talk correctly also. Um, by the way, get your second factory whenever you have the money in this build. It doesn't really make a huge difference.